In the 608 this week, we have been uh, telling you about all the finalists for our Spirit of Service campaign. And we're getting closer to announcing a winner. Yeah, just a couple days away, and our Josh Pryder is introducing us to the final vet for being nominated this week. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Vortex Optics narrowed the 100 nominations in the Spirit of Service down to five. And this week, we've been meeting the candidates who have a chance to win that $5,000 cash award. This morning, our final nominee. Here's Rob Drugsvold's story, one of selflessness and service. I like to think of myself as a pretty humble guy, but I also like if you're going to put a face to a veteran in Stoughton. A lot of people know me. A lot of people know that I served in the Marine Corps. So if there needs to be a face, I guess I'm going to take it. Recognizing the importance of remembrance, Rob Drugsold personally plants flags at veteran memorial parks on significant occasions like Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Rob is a local veteran whose tireless efforts have made Stoughton a better place for all of its citizens, especially its veterans. Rob's journey began from 1996 to 2001 when he served in the Marines, working in communications for ground combat units. Since then, his commitment to service has only grown, leaving his mark on the community. He's not just known for coaching hockey in Stoughton. Rob received the All-American Post Award during his first year as post commander of the Stoughton VFW. This prestigious award underscores his dedication and effectiveness in leading the VFW, setting a high standard for community engagement and veteran support. But one of Rob's most impactful initiatives is his coordination of the support for the Hero Center, a shelter for at-risk veterans in Dane County, something that resonates with him as once a struggling veteran. The hockey family picked me up where the Marine Corps had kind of left off. And then when I stopped coaching co hockey after my injury, then I was able to, you know, just turn that right around and give it back. And the Marine Corps puts so much focus on leadership. I mean, even your first day in boot camp, you're constantly learning how to be a leader, how to work as a team. And that's essentially what the VFW is. This is Rob's favorite photo he shared with me, the 50th anniversary commemoration of the end of the Vietnam War organized by him at the Stoughton VFW. It shows his respect for veterans of all eras. I asked Rob what he would do with the $5,000 if he were to win the Spirit of Service. He says he would channel the prize money back to the growing VFW in Stoughton, which is set to undergo some renovations soon. He's looking forward to investing into the veteran service organization even more. So Rob is one of five people you can vote for to receive the spirit of service. We've now heard from all five candidates this week and what they plan to do with the award. You can watch all of those on our website. Just go to the In the 608 section. Then vote for your favorite nominee at channel3000.com slash contest through the end of day today. This is it, folks. Today is it. You can also go to the story on our website. Click the Vote Now link. Again, Monday is the big morning that we're going to be unveiling that big winner. So, And I have nothing to do with like that part. Like, right. We're tallying up the votes and Vortex will be here with the big check on Monday morning so, so cool. it's gonna be really special yeah you know and you could have done this for like the next three months with all the great oh, people time. that were nominated of course had to whittle it down to five and uh, whoever's gonna win I mean it's gonna be an exciting time I mean you guys saw we had five strong candidates yeah. this is gonna be a tough decision <laughs> yeah. no yeah I'm glad we're leaving it up to the viewers mm -hmm. big and time, the voters yeah. on the website uh, $5,000 for them and they're all uh, telling you that they're going to give it right back right, to right organizations that mean so much to them. And I mean, this has been emotional for a lot of them mm -hmm. too. And I wish that you guys could see their entire story because of course we only get that little glimpse. Mm -hmm. I mean, these people are incredible. Yeah. And you know, it's like no hesitation at all. They know exactly what they would do with that money. Oh, for sure. Awesome. All right, Josh, thank you. Looking forward to Monday. You bet.